Challenger 24 mock exercise crash 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 Challenger 24 airlines Airbus 320 all sign x-ray x-ray 999999 crash landed near Golf 4 mock Challenger exercise initiated mock Challenger exercise initiated Airbus 320 crash on hotel 5 this is a parallel alert call for Challenger 24 mock exercise XX9999 aircraft type Challenger 24 Singapore to Bangalore arriving with fire on starboard engine crash landed at runway 09R. The fire was swiftly extinguished within the response time of two minutes of notification. But let's not forget. This was only the beginning of a major crash response where 170 plus persons on board were supposed to be rescued because every single life is utmost significant for us. As the fire is extinguished, ARFF begins the rescue operations on the site. The airport emergency services rush to provide support. The airport medical services set up triage, CISF cordons of the area and joined ARFF in rescue operations. A rendezvous point and a vehicle staging area is activated near the crash site along with a mobile command post. The on-scene commander takes charge of the operations from the duty manager, ARFF. Meanwhile, the Aerodrome Emergency Management Committee, AEMC, has convened, which is represented by senior officials from critical stakeholders. The Aerodrome Emergency Management Committee, or the AEMC as it's called, is convened to take key decisions uh, during the times of a crisis or an emergency and is uh, meant to provide strategic oversight to the emergency response at an airport. An emergency call center is soon activated and the airport toll-free number is disseminated via media and social media channels for relatives of passengers to call and obtain accurate information. It became very quickly apparent to us that the scale of the emergency was very extensive and therefore we needed to do two things. We were able to airlift critical casualties using the help of a helicopter that the Air Force kindly provided us and also worked with the district administration in order to create a green corridor which allowed us to move other casualties to city hospitals. Injured passengers classified as Priority 1 and Priority 2 are transferred to the city hospital. Those categorized as Priority 3 are shifted to the care center at the airport. Priority 4, or those who have died, are transferred to the mortuary post-completion of legal requirements. Simultaneously, at the crew reception center, the crew members are subjected to sample collection according to protocol. At the terminals, relatives are growing restless. The staff try to help them calm down and registers them at the meter greeter registration area. They are then shifted to meet and greet center. At the terminal manager's office, the airline carries out the reconciliation process. The state fire department, Indian Air Force fire response team take the charge of their respective areas. Meanwhile, on the air side, the radioactive material which can be harmful is secured. Evidence collection is carried out by Safety Investigation Coordinator. Soon, the black box is also located and taken into safe custody for further investigation. It's time now to address the media about the situation. Press statements cleared by AEMC have already been shared with them at regular intervals. For the first time this year with Challenger 24, we decided to invite the actual media to be part of the exercise. Because, you know, in a normal crisis, things can go awfully wrong, misinformation flies, fake news is flying around, and it becomes important to disseminate the correct kind of information. And it was a good way to check our own resilience and our ability to respond under pressure. So, the people who have been um, shipped to the hospital, who takes care of the medical expenses? They don't have to definitely pay. The airline has a compensation policy for Challenger, any compensation for any compensation. 
because this is that airline which is just you know people have suffered. Priority is to get the best of the people. Okay. That has been important in the hospitals. At the reunion center set up at Taj Bangalore, the passengers have united with their loved ones. With the situation at the crash site under control and rescue operations over, the on-scene commander declares a stand down. Later, other emergency response centers including care center, crew center, meet and greet center and reunion center declare a stand down in consultation with the crisis management coordinator. Then, the crisis management coordinator in consultation with AEMC declares the termination of Challenger 24. A thorough damage assessment is carried by the technical team. Recovery activity is initiated. And soon, normal flight operations resume from the runway. Challenger 24, the 10th biennial full-scale aircraft emergency exercise squad over 2,000 participants from 85 plus organizations. We had 33 expert observers from various parts of the world, which included even Director General of Civil Aviation, International Civil Aviation Organization. We tested and validated more than 53 processes, both on air side and on land side. We carry out this full-scale aircraft emergency exercise once in two years. Firstly, in order to test all of our plans, protocols, procedures and the preparedness of the airport and its wider ecosystem to ensure that we can act very effectively and decisively in the case of a real emergency. I'd like to extend my sincere thanks and uh, gratitude to all the internal and external stakeholders of who came together to make uh, Challenger 24 a resounding success. Uh, the insights and the learnings from this exercise will go a long way. This further only reinforces Bile's commitment to safety and security at the airport.